the moral com uh, conscious of the company, but a moral conscious of the company, and to satisfy myself that as we're making these, these decisions about what the company's going to do, how we're going to operate, that in fact we're doing it correctly and ethically and, and above board. Which then answers, I think, your question about the taxpayer, because the taxpayer, in your example, is our customer. It's not always a taxpayer. There are companies out there that, I, that I'm on boards with that have nothing to do with the U.S. government, but there's a lot of them that do. The taxpayer is our customer. The U.S. government is our customer. You can get away with treating your customer in a, inappropriately. You can get away with um, shaving things for a short period of time. But over time, the companies that last and grow and therefore have the greatest impact on this fiduciary responsibility of the board to the stockholders are those that perform their, deliver their product, perform their mission, whatever it is, in a highly ethical, moral way that is not gouging anybody, but getting decent profit for decent day's work. Did I answer your question? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Let, let me wrap up, because that was the last question. Let me wrap up where I hope I started, which is to sincerely say to you, thank you for your willingness to serve the country. I, I truly wish I could be with you. Um, but I'm eternally grateful that our country continues to produce men and women like you. The next two and a half years are going to go pretty quick. Not from where you sit, but from where I sit. And you'll be commissioned ensigns and second lieutenants. And I'll be, I'll be proud uh, to watch you start making decisions. God bless you. On behalf of the Stockdale Center and the class of 1964, we'd like to mention you with this compass. All right. Thank you all very much. Attention on deck. Peter